Hi there, this is Joanna and today uh, I will share with you a few tips for authors as I'm getting all these questions. Uh, so let me reply here for you and collecting the information uh, shortly before you make a decision you're gonna regret. Uh, I don't want you to make all the mistakes I did in my life considering publishing. Um, so you have a book and uh, whether you are a native speaker or uh, from other country and translate it into English, please make sure that your translation is uh, possible to read by yourself because that wasn't my case. I couldn't understand myself when I translated my first book. Uh, so I had to rewrite it and then uh, you have to uh, make sure that this is edited not by you, by first by you, but then by a professional, uh, even if your English and your language is perfect. Um, so I got a question from someone who would like, who asked me about how to find an agent and uh, uh, how much time uh, he needs for that. And is it possible to do within a month? Well, uh, as the author of writing paranormal stuff, I would say, well, in a month you would have to clone yourself. But seriously speaking, no, this is not possible because your letter has to be uh, uh, perfect. Your uh, pitch has to be very clear and precise within first lines, first sentence, and you're going to have several seconds, maybe three seconds these days. Yeah, I am sorry for that sound. Uh, so um, then you would have to study all the profiles uh, in the English speaking market all over the world. You have thousands, I think millions, maybe million, I don't know exact number but imagine to find the right agency and study every profile and one agency sometimes work 20 people 20 agent 10 agent 5 agents you have to study the profile of all of these people pick one because you're not allowed to write to more than one uh, and you have to make a note if that one person after three months because basically they will respond to you if they will most of bigger agency don't even respond and uh, you have to do follow up if they don't respond to you within month or they say that usually on their website then you should let go or uh, find another right to another uh, agent from this particular agency unless they stated that no you you should not write to another person uh, so it will take you really, really months. And I know people who are looking for agent for years. And uh, the most important thing is to answer yourself a very important uh, question. How much time, energy, uh, possibilities means you have uh, stubbornness, perseverance, um, uh, a little bit, maybe you need uh, maybe less common sense here, but you need to be, I would say, almost obsessed about it to keep pushing through uh, to find that agent. And where is your line, your deadline that you know that when you cross that one, you uh, your health will suffer and your life will suffer. Uh, so... It's important to see if you are capable of doing this. This is not for everyone, but if you do, uh, this is the best way to find a publishing house that you can make money uh, from your writing. This is most of the people also, uh, I will answer that question already. Uh, they want to make money from writing. This is not a writing for art. And this is a different story because if you just going to be satisfied by writing a book, publishing it, and you don't care about income or passive income from it, you're going to be fine. But this is not the case of most people. They have a bigger dream here and would like to do only that in their life. Uh, so uh, you have to also answer yourself, 
do you write for money or do you write from your inner needs? So what is attractive to you more, making money? Because then you're going to write on the topic that is interesting, hot and popular in this current situation. You will have to do enormous research about it. And uh, then it's more likely you will find a proper agent. And this is for money. This is a recipe for money. It sounds simple and I can assure you already it is not. Um, yeah, the, this uh, sort of research will also uh, take a lot of from your time. Um, so be ready for it. If you, if you are, if you are convinced that this is your path, then of course follow it, but make sure you put this deadline. Um, I will make more videos about it because there are so many ways of publishing your book. There are also um, different approaches and I won't judge them which is better because you can do self-publishing and then still find an agent. Why some of the agent they are not into looking at your book if you already self-published it. So there are different schools, different approaches, everyone uh, is uh, is different and you, you may count on the luck at the end of the day, but you have to be extremely well prepared to what you are doing. Um, also, when you send to the agent the first uh, pages and you have to follow exact uh, guidelines because some of them, they will reject your attachment. Uh, it is always stated on the profile. So be very precise and careful when you study uh, the guidelines for applying to one particular agent. Sometimes you have to prepare a document in different formats for them because they require that and they will reject it if you want, uh, if you make one mistake. Um, so your first pages are most crucial because uh, the agent will be pulled in or not. And that edition has to be absolutely perfect and with your friends, professional, developmental editor, uh, corrector, anyone that can help you will be good. There are of course uh, links for that and uh, you can find plenty of information in Internet Fever, Read C and so on. Um, I will do more videos with someone who went through different processes. I have just uh, several years of experience in this subject, but I know uh, authors that have many more years and then can share with us what to do. Uh, the purpose of this video is, of course, so you can choose the best of your path because being an author, it means you are going to sit for months close to your desk, uh, to your computer and edit, write, re-edit, apply, promote, and so on. So make sure this is your path, this is your passion, this is your something that you are absolutely signing up for. Uh, it is a demanding path and answer yourself why are you doing that? What is your goal? What do you want to achieve? How much time do you want to give to it? Uh, usually within the first month, you're going to know exactly if you are able to follow it or not. It will challenge you. I promise you that. Um, I hope this is somewhat helpful for you now in order to make a decision. Is it your path? start to do whatever you can do if you're not sure if you need to check that out i suggest you work uh while making notes in uh, excel format uh before i found my publisher i managed to apply to over 600 publishing houses and i don't remember how many agents but probably 200. um so you need to pay attention to dates, follow-ups, notes, who you're contacting, don't make mistakes with names, anything like that. And it's good to have it, um, uh, to have it uh, in the right format so we can see it all. Excel is a perfect tool for that. Perhaps one day I will publish my, my own sheet of work with you so you can see how it, how it looks like and what you can do. But... Uh, uh, of course, create your own because uh, you need to create the publisher according to the gender you are publishing and you are uh, searching for. So it won't apply 
unless you are a novel or fiction author as me. Uh, all right, so please ask more of what you would like to know. Uh, I will do those videos with some other people who have experience here about how to publish, where with whom, uh, self-publishing, traditional publishing, what service. We are figuring that all out as my book is about to be published too and I am withholding a little bit, trying to make the best uh, uh, also decision for myself. Uh, and uh, that will later on affect you. So uh, gather information as much as possible before you do anything. Uh, and there is always something you don't know about. So uh, make sure uh, about everything. I, I cannot say that enough, you know, because there is always something we don't know. And I'm taking that into account. That's why I am more reluctant. After all this experience, I am a little bit more reluctant now, uh, hearing a lot of stories, collect them all. Most of authors, I'm going to say that one more thing, uh, they are very friendly, very sharing with you and helpful. Uh, share these stories and in a group we are always uh, stronger. Of course, you have to pay attention to those who are having um, other agendas or from different reasons, uh, whether it's insecurity or uh, they feeling ashamed that they're not making money on it. Maybe not that much. I don't know. That's a psychological thing. But be careful because if the author is telling you, I actually had that uh, incident that, oh, my book is sold uh, so well, I don't have them anymore. Uh, ask them about what publishing house they did their book. I did ask that. And it turned out that it was a self-publishing print on demand. So uh, check the information that are coming to you. Uh, don't believe it for sure. But if you find those people around you that are uh, loyal, friendly, and uh, helpful, uh, then you building up your network of the right people that together we can all make better decisions. Okay, I'm waiting for your comments, questions. Hi, this video is to my dear friends, fellow authors, artists, and some of the creative minds that can be interested in this. Uh, it is about publishing business. I have a few thoughts to share with you and some of you will be very annoyed um, with what I'm gonna say. So please just to take care of your health already. If you find something that you don't like, just turn off this video. It's going to be about a few not facts, as these I'm not going to prove, but a few observations I had among the years as an author and person active on social media and promotion, marketing, learning a lot from others and so on. I'm um, not really so good with all these uh, recordings on YouTube and some of you are doing it so well. I really admire that. So I'm just gonna try to share with you my message this way uh, instead of writing thousand messages with all of you back and forth and repeating the same sentences that I actually want to uh, tell all of you, uh, those interested of course. So I started this journey six years ago into publishing and I tried everything. I started with uh, self-publishing, with traditional publishing, uh, with uh, applying for agent. Uh, I learned a lot. I really took my time and I studied books. It took me like uh, fairly five years of studying and applying and learning and exploring and I fell in the madness and insanity of social media promotion like some other people I encountered on the way and you can easily lose yourself in it. Um, I fell for that too. I, I was spamming basically, a lot of spamming because there is a, this slight uh, line between letting someone know about something and spamming and there is also 
excessive promotion going on on social media and you just get lost in it you don't know anymore sometimes uh, you just having this inner pressure of keep posting and everybody's uh, advising you to do that and uh, motivating you inspiring there is a lot of people who just started or keep doing that they have uh, I don't know how many groups, but you can you can find there are thousands of groups for authors promoting themselves uh, for readers and authors together. So anyway, this uh, video is more about my observations. So just so you know, I, I'm going to repeat that. Um, and to gather my thoughts better, um, Sometimes, yes, uh, somebody asked me about it. I am pausing videos so you don't have the quiet mode long time when I'm trying to make sure I am sharing with all that it's important. Yes, like right now, I just resume it. Uh, so the first thing that uh, I thought six years ago and even recently, even some three years ago, I thought that there is nothing more challenging that entertainment business considering dance, acting. I didn't even get into acting fully because I already knew that this business is insane. Uh, music business, dance theater, so on. But I can tell you this, that publishing business, it's even more insane. And this is only my opinion. Um, so you have this pressure for reviews. This is about authors and you have to gather them. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to gather sales. Uh, you're not going to gather royalties from the sales and so on. And every uh, author these days is obliged to do that. It doesn't matter really if you are self-published in the author or if you are belonging to press a publisher unless this is a huge company that will do everything for you you are required to be present on social media even agents these days require that from you so if you're not present you're probably also having less chances to get an agent uh, so you have to be social media friendly there is a there is a lot more requirements uh, that are waiting for you. You already know that. But I just observed this one thing. So readers on Goodreads are complaining a lot about authors spamming them, being not kind and not nice and actually friending someone only to get a review and then unfriending them. This is crazy. Uh, from one side, I do understand the desperation and I had a feeling of that too. So I get you, I get the authors, I get the readers and something that's supposed to be secure, safe place for people to share their ideas became uh, yeah, um, battlefield to get reviews and uh, authors are criticizing other authors instead of you know taking care of their business. Um, so if big companies, just, just to let you give you a little bit idea, if big companies are hiring professional reviewers and you go to Amazon and you have a book that is a bestseller, and I'm not talking about that everything is done this way, but just to think about it, big publishers are running campaigns months before the book is coming out and there is a bunch of people working on it. It's, it's not like... Uh, there is one person that is launching your book. There are plenty of people doing that. So if you, in the first day, reading 30, 100, I don't know how many reviews, tell me, first day, already so many people bought it, knew about it. That was promotion, paid promotion. That cost a lot of money. So now, if uh, somebody is criticizing author who is trying to promote the books and paying for the reviews and not spamming maybe other readers, but just uh, offering money for it. I'm fine with that. I, I won't criticize that. Um, I didn't do that yet. I am thinking that right now, after everything what I learned, 
this is a fair thing because this is a service for a service and this is also someone someone time to read your book review it and write actually something meaningful and relevant to it and uh, another issue is if the author doesn't like a review they sometimes can really vent on the reader who posted a wrong review didn't give enough stars and so on uh, so yeah that is a desperation talking and uh, again i can relate to that but um, i also think that it is important for authors to know what can be improved especially with a self-published uh, authors and i experienced that in polish language so basically my books were not enough edited and uh, they come out with mistakes uh formatting was done really good and uh sometimes when i'm reading uh because i also of course uh, fell for that insanity i had a list of uh, books i supposed to read and i try to do my best and everyone give a honest relevant review uh, I thought that there is nobody worse in America than me writing in English. And I actually encountered only one such, such person where it was impossible to give a review because I simply couldn't go through the book. It was that badly written. And uh, it's good to, to give those people reviews because then they can improve on it. And uh, also, as a reviewer, we can do it in a kind way and with a suggestion, but uh, also we can be honest about it and not give a five stars to something that basically you wouldn't read and you would never recommend someone to read it. And if you don't like a book, but it's a decent book, but it's just not for you, then it's totally fine to state it in your review. Um, so yeah, there is this venting, fishing uh, battlefield for uh, reviews and I think that the one solution may be instead of spamming those dear readers who a lot of them actually are uh, not writing a review. I myself have readers who are not on social media, not on these sites. And they send me a message in the middle of the night, hey, do you have a book, book on, on another part? I just finished reading, it's two in the morning, please send me another one. I, I love it, that's the best review for me. Of course, nobody's gonna hear about that, but that's, that's something I really adore. Um, so maybe it's actually better to rethink this uh, because this is insane. If author is doing nothing else but sitting on social media is begging for a review, for selling a book, and something is really, really wrong. And um, I had no one around me that time to, to tell me to not do that because everybody were feeling forced to do it. There are other ways. And of course, those people around me that time to me never pay for, your, for a review. And I followed that frame of mind be, before I started to challenge what's really going on with this business um never pay for that never run advertisement never run a campaign and you can get really lost because the moment you are advertising yourself or just writing polite notes on goodreads hey would you like to review my book i i have a campaign that's running now for free um you get I don't know how many emails I got, you know, anonymous emails. Hey, if you pay me 200 euros, I will give you six reviews or something like that. So no, I never did it because I, I thought it is taking advantage uh, of me. But I'm reflecting, and this is just a reflection, uh, what actually can we do better? Because those fishing for reviews that a lot of them may be... Um, maybe I just begged for authors and um, maybe they are not even relevant. I don't know. I don't want to judge that. Um, I appreciate reviews that I received from people and uh, I was in the same position. So I was begging and they were really working hard and okay, I'm finishing your book. I'm going to write it tomorrow. So 
Um, it was kind of forced in a way, I, I feel it. Um, but it was at least, you know, genuine and it was from people who really read your book. So I'm not against anything here, but I'm reflecting on really um, appreciating the service. If, if if not in the money, then maybe trading or exchanging or doing something else for somebody. And uh, some authors are doing that. So they are reviewing each other's books because there is simply no other way, whether you pay for it. And uh, companies that are actually running this business, they are not cheap. And they really take advantage, in my opinion, of authors. They're asking for to or for too much money for it so uh just rethink this if big companies are running the campaigns and it costs money and someone gets paid then what is the solution for indie authors can they pay how much to whom and whom they can support so in the next days i am probably gonna to research that a little bit more and uh, check on our community. We have here a small international community of artists, creative minds, because if we support each other, if we have genuine people who are willing to help, even for a little service, um, then you create something, um, something more for yourself and you, you are sustained you are sustaining someone else and that is an exchange so i believe in that and of course that's supposed to be fair so that is a very uh, personal thing what is fair what feels good what kind of business here feels good of course for my coaching sessions i take money for readings for dance classes i do take money and uh, sometimes also we do things for free and every one of us uh, doing voluntary work for the community. Um, but if we are in a need of something, perhaps sometimes it's better to pay some of the money instead of putting ourselves in the position of a beggar. I mean, some of the authors, they were banned from uh, some of the groups. Uh, and this is interesting because uh, it can... It can turn your life upside down. There was an amazing amount of things I, I watched there and observed. And of course, I heard the story, so I'm not going to repeat them here. Uh, some of them could be, you know, more personal. Um, but losing your own way and just, you know, going to social media to criticize other people, uh, that is not going to sustain uh, anyone and doesn't help anyone. So if you uh, if you were able to see that uh, great post on Facebook, I shared that too, about free cues and one is about criticizing and most of people like that one, uh, uh, follow that one uh, on the picture. The second one is to give an advices and the, for, the third one is to act. So I would like to encourage with that video that we are kind, we find the best solutions. And I'm also would like to hear from you those suggestions. And I, I wish that you can finally do that in the comments, not because I like to have a lot of comments. As you see, I, I keep that uh, YouTube channel more private. It's public, but it's not uh, promoted. Um, it's strictly for people really interested. My, circle of friends and interested in what I what I'm sharing with you but if you do comment there then you may network maybe someone has idea that it's fitting you and you can uh, connect to that person instead of me thinking like oh I I know a friend who does exactly what you so let me connect you uh, so it can it can serve us all this way if you share uh, your suggestions, your thoughts, or your what your action, what you actually are doing that helps and can uh, sustain other people or all of us. So that's one thing. And another thing is I am also falling in the debt role of advising. Maybe I'm preaching a little bit in those videos. I'm really sorry for that. But uh, this is an educator within me role uh, that 
one day I hope to release that too. And yes, we need more people that are acting and doing things. And uh, these days, uh, advices are good still, I think. And so the criticism, as long as it's constructive, I am also a work in progress. Uh, but most of us, we need now to gather and create something together so it, we can help each other. So if I am passionate about one thing and there is someone who is passionate about another that I don't like to do much, uh, then I would love to, of course, connect and create. Um, all right. So these are my very little thoughts. Think about this. If you are an author struggling for reviews, let me know. I am still writing reviews sometimes. I am really sorry I cannot um, accommodate so many books. Uh, simply, you know, the time I would have to divide myself or triple. Uh, but yes, if you if you are interested in reviews, let me know if you are an author. If you like, uh, if you're interested in exchanging, in uh, gathering, let, let's create that teamwork of people who are writing reviews and they have time. Uh, and if there are just few of us create, I don't know, maybe five people that are reviewing it, then yes, I am willing to, I think at that point, I am willing to honor that if not in a financial way, then donating to those people who maybe are students and they maybe are in need of buying themselves breakfast or a dinner. Um, yeah, I think this is it. I'm wishing you lovely uh, evening, day, um, morning, whatever you are, time, zone, uh, and time you are watching this. And seeing you next time. Now I'm off to take my own medicine, which is dance. Hopefully I learn next videos. What's your medicine? That's going to be a different, different subject. Bye bye. Hi there. This is a very short video about uh, posting reviews on Amazon. There are still a lot of questions about it. So I decided to make a just a very short instructions for that. Uh, a lot of authors still uh, still don't understand how it works and also reviewers, also bloggers are starting to write me and asking how they can uh, post a review on Amazon and Amazon them, uh, is blocking them. So here is it, uh, why, what to do. So you have to have, first of all, active account on Amazon and it, that means you are buying things. I don't know how much do you have to buy, maybe equivalent of 50 euros or dollars, depending where you live. And if you do, you don't have to buy necessarily uh, uh, books that uh, you read, maybe you got it as a gift, uh, but you would like to maybe make a favor or you need it for your blog. Um, I don't know. So you have to buy something. If you don't buy, Amazon will definitely block you from posting review in any country. Also, the one you are um, you are trying to um, maybe buy, but you don't buy enough. I think it's it was like free every three months. They have they they have to be a certain amount of uh, purchase on your account. So that's one thing. Uh, what to do, of course. So. Um, many many people just give up uh, there are options uh, it depends on you uh, and uh, author because they can gift a book for you so you can purchase it uh, and uh, that's up to you whether you trade whether you sell it later on eBay or also on Amazon if you don't want to keep it uh, there are ways and this you have to personally discuss with the author or it's it's just up to you. I'm not going to tell you here what to do because of course everybody is different and it shouldn't be uh, an obligation uh, uh, put on a reviewer to buy author's books 
in order to post, especially for bloggers who are, this is their work, so they read a lot of uh, books and they write really extensive, uh, extensive uh, um, reviews on the book, very detailed sometimes. Uh, so authors are usually very much appreciative, so some of them are paying for that. Uh, but it has to be also decent, let's not exaggerate, because I also get those uh, emails uh, offering me some sort of basically free reviews for enormous amount of money. So um, uh, for authors, please do not fall for that. Uh, there are other ways if you do want to pay. So somebody in another country that maybe cannot afford it but would like to buy your book can can post a review for you and is truly your reader, uh, then I, I won't criticize that. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, again, settle an account on Amazon, purchasing, and then you are allowed to post a review there. Sounds very simple. Good luck uh, for everyone and have a lovely day. Hello there. Why Amazon doesn't support your language if you want to publish? These questions are usually coming from Polish people because my channel is mostly for Polish people who would like to um, promote, publish their books considering that publishing questions. But perhaps if you speak in English and you are also from another country and maybe you're not supported, uh, here is something I would like to share with you. Uh, Amazon uh, introduced a lot of languages and uh, uh, we all heard that uh, it can be hypocritic and people work their hard and uh, they say that they like to introduce a very fam um, family-like environment. So um, what is the truth really? What are the facts are only coming to me from the people directly working or, or quit? from Amazon. However, um, perhaps they already talk with your, uh, with someone from your country about implementing that language. It's not all the time that Amazon is the one guilty for not implementing your language. Sure, it doesn't feel good when you get a notice. If you want more time, publish your book in your native language, you're going to be banned from Amazon as an author. I received that in the past and uh, they were saying that I violate their policies by, uh, by trying to publish in the Polish language. Sure, I would like the language, uh, the language to be added. Um, very often I didn't get the proper answer. So if you do know someone who can answer those questions and put this uh, forward this issue, I would appreciate if you pass me the link or the contact information, I will be uh, glad to talk about it more. However, here I want to say that Amazon so far is indeed a really good platform to support indie authors, those who are self-publishing. The other one I uh, like and I recommend so far is draft to digital uh, but the only problem is they do not publish a print book in other countries. So they are very good for the, uh, for the digital publishing and Mobi in every kind of format you wish to have your book. Amazon at this moment is probably the only one who can print in your country, even if it doesn't support your language. Um, I tried a number of um, emails to Amazon to ask, however, I didn't get the answer. It was very uh, unclear to me and uh, didn't give me the proper answer. I hope this will still happen and I hope this is going to be fixed also and we all need um, um, the proper answers at least why something is happening. At this moment, I am actually suspecting that, um, and I may be wrong here, this is just, you know, wild imagination of the author, that your current market in your country, such as Poland, for example, they have the MPIC and it has monopoly for the whole market and they are not really interested 
in uh, putting Amazon out there as a competitor for their authors because a lot of Polish people would suddenly publish the books, print books, uh, and use the platform of self-publishing on Amazon. So they're not interested in that. So who's blocking whom really? I do not know how is it going, but I would like to find out. So one more time, please pass this video to someone who can answer this question. I am interested in fixing them. I am interested in finding the right solutions for authors. Uh, sure mostly for Poland because I'm Polish and I would like that Polish people can publish also in Polish language on Amazon. But if you are from another country and your language is also not supported by Amazon, you are very, very welcome to contact me and uh, perhaps as always in the groups and writing more emails, maybe a petition to Amazon, we can solve this and we can uh, come out together with the solutions and hopefully also get some interest from people currently working in Amazon and in the department that is making decisions about this issue. So one more time, again, all over again, I uh, wish you a wonderful day, sunny one, whatever you are. And if you are an author, have a happy, prosperous, publishing whatever your platform is. Bye bye. Hello there. Warm and sunny greetings from me to you and congratulations. Yes, congratulations to you. So you spent long months of a lockdown and you wrote a book of fiction, great story, great novel or non-fiction and uh, a lot from you are telling me you want to publish it or find another ways of publishing because the recent ones didn't pay off. Uh, so today I will tell you what um, nobody have told me before and that would save me a lot of time so please stay with me because what I'm going to say hopefully will save you lots of frustration, time, energy, effort and perhaps even money. Uh, and what I didn't learn from piles or books about marketing, publishing, uh, talking with people, spending basically over five years studying the business and hoping for the best. So um, most of you probably, I suspect, want to get an agent and want to get into a big publishing company. So. Um, the fact is not all of us can have that luck, but yes, of course, I would never say someone to stop trying, keep trying. But before you decide that this is your absolutely the only way how to get into publishing business, um, I have a few questions for you because some of you unfortunately landed uh, whether in a depression or five years when I met uh, people like that, they still never published even one book and uh, stayed in the hoping, applying, uh, being frustrated and that really uh, doesn't lead anywhere in my opinion. So everything what I'm telling you it's my preferences, my opinions and my own experience. In Poland we have a saying that um, we learn the hard way on our own butt. So please take my experience as much as you want. It's totally for free and learn on my butt instead of your own this time. Um, so uh, how to jump into it before you make a decision about self-publishing, how to go about it or going with the company, uh, consider how much time do you want to spend on publishing, promoting, um, take everything into account and this unfortunately will take you a little bit of uh, research because only you know your preferences, only you can find out about um, how much time you have. Is it, your, is it going to be your full-time job? Is it just a hobby? Is it part-time? How do you want about it? It's very, very personal thing. There are no 
um, good ways or bad ways. It all depends. There are pros and cons of everything. So um, some of us, probably 1%, <laughs> still have this luck to go with a big publishing company, get an agent and have this half of the million dollar contract. And I vote still for one author. I, I love uh, her book and she's a great author. Uh, but she didn't get that agent yet, but I think that book deserves that, absolutely. Uh, but most of us um, are lucky if they get a decent contract with a publishing company, small press. And uh, I myself also uh, am under such a contract. And for me, it was a big deal because it allowed me as an author that is not American, not English, uh, to have this boost and appreciation that my work, my work got noticed in the first place. So this is the pros. If you uh, if you want to get help, if you're not uh, not coming from native English speaking country, uh, I mean, if you're not native English speaker, uh, it may help you to uh, get your foot forward in the way of confidence. How you would like to go about it and learning process of it so it's absolutely great thing to do um, and I'm very very thankful for it what uh, may happen uh, is that of course the royalties you are going to share with the company you are working you are absolutely dependent on the contract most of these contracts are standard procedures so called that's what they will tell you um, a lot of companies I heard in Poland, even self-publishing, always say that no, we are these contracts are not to uh, not to negotiate, and whether you take it or you leave it, we don't change anything in the contract. So, um, in Poland, publishing companies are even worse, offering very very little royalties, and um, I already. Um, did a few videos about it so make sure you watch them uh, I will make sure to put the links before that video uh, so I won't repeat everything here and let let us focus on the most important questions uh, if you get a contract with a little press make um, a take into account that your royalties will be shared which is fair because they work for you they edit it for free for you so uh, it's it's still working together on the book and also the timing will depend on the company the book cover will depend on the company you don't have such a free hand how you want to go about your book uh, but your but your book will be out there and it will be published you will get professional help if you're absolutely confident and you can edit your book and you are native English speaker I prefer uh, to, pub uh, to publish myself and I think this is the best way uh, how the best way to do it to go yourself and be very very careful because there are three ways of self-publishing minimum you can pay the company to do it for you and then you have a similar problems uh, they may not you pay a lot of money for it and they may not do exactly as you want it to be you um, uh, the second one you get half half so you may get yourself into a contract that uh, you share the author's rights for it and the third one is the one I recommend uh, to do uh, so this is the one that you have total control over everything you are doing your book cover your font your format your writing your editing everything it depends on you and uh, if you're not convinced to the self-publishing and you still are looking for an agent um, and you take a lot of workshops it's fantastic I would never say someone to not do it because you absolutely have to believe in yourself so do it However, ask yourself this question, how much time do you want to spend and what is your limit? When is that limit? Because the energy that we expand 
eventually uh, runs out and this is where we suffer from depression burnt out frustration and so on and a lot of us suffer um, a lot um, yeah we we actually pay with our own health for that and I did also so uh, to make sure that not that this won't happen to you if you are going to sign that contract uh, even with a small press um, you will feel the pressure and obligation to do a promotion and you will be pulled in the whole marketing and promoting business and this is exactly what nobody will tell you about because i read those piles of books and i studied them and i try to really go uh, step by step and i got rid of all of those books i just am left with one book which i recommend if you want to make your publishing full-time job only only then so this is querella marketing for writers it has over 100 ways how you can promote and how you can go about your publishing and uh, yeah if you can clone yourself and do this uh, full-time basically 12 to 16 hours per day for many many months have uh, yeah if you're lucky you're gonna have results but most of the authors I I got to know they have sales sure but not a big sales and they worked a lot for it so um, what nobody told me uh, is about the timing how much time actually it takes and that none of us in the outdoors can do that ourselves and a lot of them landing desperate and I spoke with many of course uh, and uh, they pay uh, they pay i was also on the edge i was about to pay for the reviews and reviews are taken down from amazon because amazon is very careful about it so do not pay for the reviews i know this is something that uh, some of you may consider and i also did that i even make a video about it that maybe it's not a bad way because the amount of time authors are spending on sending their work for free, begging for those reviews, it's um, yeah, very, very depreciating. Uh, so these tactics are great. It's just um and you are one person business. That means you won't be able to apply them until you, uh, unless you have a lot of money to hire people and they won't do it um, if they don't know how to work with it they cannot promote your book the way you can uh, so you can get somewhere you can pick the strategy only one or two from 100 that's how it works and then continue doing that what works but what works for you is not what what will be working for other people so you may go for months going back and forth between different methods um, and uh, yeah that can be very discouraging so just to make sure uh, uh, to not let you fall to not make you fall into that trap and expecting from yourself impossible thing uh, just read very very carefully and distance yourself instantly from some of the tips and only do what feels right to you if you sense if you have the feeling of frustration drop it do the other thing or stop uh, because really it makes no sense to spend your day on Instagram Twitter Facebook and so on and do several posts a day because this is what they are advising you to do and answering people or nagging people about follow me back <laughs> or about like my page uh, yes this is how authors are spending or talking and spending enormous amount of time so basically uh, if I would be smarter at that time and I would enjoy my life a little bit more instead of spending hours on hours on Facebook and trying to get reviews and sometimes um, the reviewers also require that you send them book for free so if you are under contract you cannot do that because that's not legal if you self-publish 
you can at least uh, send them a copy of your book or ebook uh, directly from Amazon. So uh, make sure to consider that how you want to go about it, how much time do you want to spend because you are going to be pulled uh, into activities from other authors, you are going to feel the pressure and obligation of doing more and more and more and basically on social media. Um, if you have any specific questions, please ask me under this video or by email and I will uh, make sure I answer. No, I take that back. I may not answer every question, but I will do my best to answer some of it. And if you are uh, looking for an agent, uh, when in time, how much is your sacrifice, uh, how many years, put a certain limit maybe if, um, if you are getting nowhere, put a certain limit of time because I know that many of you, whether it's a publishing or a different kind of art business are still hoping and hope is great, going forward is great. But putting your work out there is great. But if you are in a constant mode of waiting, applying, um, going for uh, something, there is, this is also what you are emanating. Uh, and it's very, very hard to change that pattern. This is another topic. We go into more psychological things, self-fulfilling prophecy and paranormal aspect topic of that, uh, more spiritual, esoteric. Uh, what you emanate, you bring to your life and so on. So I'm not going to go that direction. Now, what to consider when you publish on Amazon and I'm still recommending Amazon because you have most control on Amazon and Amazon offers you um, prints and eBooks. It's very easy to do. If you learn it once, you will be able instantly to publish, republish, edit, to a new edition of your book. Um, one thing for sure, make sure if you want to publish on other uh, platforms uh, to not choose additional Kindle option because then probably you won't be able to publish. There is something about rights that you need to be uh, uh, sure. If you want to publish only on Amazon or also somewhere else like draft to digital, which I also recommend because then you have more uh, ways to get to your potential readers, audience, and your book has more international distributors. Uh, so uh, make sure you don't hit that additional button, Kindle, uh, direct. Uh, and of course, if it's only Amazon, then you can do it because then Amazon, as some uh, self-publishers uh, say, the Amazon gives you extra love. So they rate your book for a while, of course. Um, there is a different formats of on Amazon. Why the ebook is very simple to do. You just need a first cover, first front cover, only a picture. And uh, they take JPEG formats, uh, probably TIFF. Uh, uh, it's, it's very easy to do. You can do it whether in Photoshop, the font or you can send me I can help you with that but uh, this one is easy the description the categories it's on the bookshelf and uh, this is very very first step what is more problematic for authors is the print and this is what I'm going to stay a little bit longer uh, you need I ISBN if I say it correctly number and Amazon will give you one, but you can use this number only for Amazon prints. If you're going to switch the draft to digital or something else, they are probably give you another number. So make sure you change it when you republish somewhere else. You have different formats you can pick. So like this one, I have no, no idea how many centimeters or, but here's where I made a mistake. So I like small formats because I used to like to walk with my books and have them with my hand always and the smaller they are the better the better I can you know just put them in the pocket go and read so here is the lorry and here is 
probably how you can compare it if you see it's a one is a little bit bigger than the other one i think this one is um 5.5 8.5 and uh, the isbn number looks on the bottom like this and uh, and this one is a little bit bigger but it's supposed to be smaller so make sure you pick the right format uh, but if you choose the wrong format nothing is lost because before you publish you get a book like not for sale and uh, you can check if everything is in order before you publish so for example what happened i i have uh, managed to publish one book without pages and you also have to reformat your book to the right not only font but also space between the font which i'm going to try to show you here so here's the right the the font is 1.15 between the lines here i totally forgot about it don't make this mistake so it's uh it's easier for the reader probably to read because it's one point uh half uh and as you see those upper parts i chose um 80 or 60. Uh, it depends you have to also check so you can order your book so this one is thicker because I of course made a made a mistake that's not the same one but I had it somewhere here uh, but basically if you don't do pages and uh, then you are going to spend more money for the print yourself and your book you're raising the cost of your book that's how it goes and one more time another mistake so a <laughs> lot of space here a lot of space here and here not too little so sometimes they cut in order to print your book they have to cut the edges so uh, the margins are not so yeah, I still didn't cut it's still okay but it could be better so you order the copy for yourself is very cheap because you don't pay anything anything more than a print and delivery and it's gonna look like this it's not for sale and you can check if everything is in order so you can also uh, play a little bit with different fonts what is better to read how it looks like and uh, the numbering of course don't forget the numbering because that happens to me quite often and i have to check my first book was bigger and this is the one i i don't have a control but uh so it is like this and uh the font i am not really able to tell because of course i didn't see how it looks like in the word format but uh it looks like it's um uh, it's not so much space between the line i assume it's a little bit less if you can oh my god if you can see that i'm sorry between those those fonts i hope it's seen so i don't know how uh how easy is to read that one uh the font is pretty clear and i <laughs> hope it is and i like the font here i like how they did it and they also made sure look at that they also made sure that there is a space there is enough space from the bottom and the top so they exactly yeah but also in the regular without a title you have a less space here so that lowers the cost of your book when people order and then you can choose the right price for yourself so formats and what do you need for the print for the print you need the whole picture of your front back and the middle part the edge of that book and uh, you don't write anything you just need a picture in order to publish on amazon because amazon has um the fonts and you put those fonts exactly on amazon i did otherwise so that's another thing because i would i wanted to have a trojan font so i did that and that means um when i go on amazon to do the back part uh the title pops up two times so i had to 
it's written in a very very font right here it's still the title but you cannot see it really because i mark it there are really ways to go about a lot of things if you need help with something let me know about it uh but more or less it's very easy and your book it's coming out within 24 hours maybe 72 hours you um you cannot check if you publish in another language you make sure that your language is supported by amazon because if it's not for a while it can go on but if they look at it they are going to threaten you with uh closing your account blocking your account and they will definitely block your royalties because that happened to me i published in polish language which wasn't supported because i saw that other books are there on amazon there is another thing that you need to know about amazon so um when you get uh some problems with amazon uh like me with polish fonts and blocking my account and un locking it again um, you may encounter um, in emails an impression you can have an this impression like you are corresponding with artificial intelligence so whether uh, they have installed Alexia that is responding to your emails or not or you have a human being responding to your emails uh, to go around this make sure you are asking a single concrete questions and then you have a better chance to have the the right answer the less you write and the precise you are with your question the better answer you will get some of you tried that trick and uh and tried to ask um if there is a alexia or am i speaking am i corresponding with a human being or something like that uh, so i do not recommend that because there is a chance that uh they a few times i had a feeling that it was a person who was even warning me about something and responding uh very kindly and advising me what to do and i didn't ask for it so that is definitely not artificial intelligence so it's not always the case but uh it happened a few times that i had also this impression that i'm asking one thing and i get just generic answer um uh, uh, generated from i don't know what computer quantum 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 computer something like that uh i hope i didn't forget about anything if i did um with those simple steps let me know about it i hope it was helpful so this content is for free the only thing uh please if you can uh let the advertisements go on you don't have to listen to them but this is my way of making my uh additional income with youtube so if you let pass those uh those ad ads advertisements i will very much appreciate that and uh, looking forward to hearing your questions and i prefer to self-publish right now with the help of an editor of course and until you have this great opportunity to go with the corporation that will do the promotion for you i do not recommend small presses although that can also be a uh, advantage in my case it was enormous advantage but i uh, also would not like to uh, go with another small press because I know also the limitations for it and this only comes from my personal experiences so saying that I wish you all the best looking forward to hearing more questions until the next time bye bye hello there welcome you warmly and for those of you who don't know me yet I'm Joanna and I normally talk about extraordinary subjects or some of the coaching consciousness uh, a lot from my books about dreaming lucid dreaming creating a reality and so on but today I would like to share with you something about uh, not exactly corporation social dilemma but this may serve everyone who has a profile on social media is a publishing something is a creator an artist um entrepreneur and has to use or just simply buying online uh it is perhaps a little bit warning perhaps a little bit um request from uh from you to suggest something for all of us something that we can together 
come up with a better idea to be not used by sorting platforms, by use them, because this is what they are created for, that our life is easier, not uh, harder. Uh, but is it this way? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, big corporations and uh, a lot from what people are complaining about, about um, difficulties in getting to um, communication, uh, organize something. I have a suspicion, um, it's just a suspicion, <laughs> that a lot behind these corporations like Amazon, uh, YouTube and everything else, websites, uh, whatever provider you have, uh, it's not a mystery that they already have artificial intelligence that is actually talking to you. And just a few years ago, I saw those uh, videos about Americans are actually recording these conversations on the phone and posting it online. How peculiar and weird it sounds and how many minutes or half an hour on an hour you can spend with someone on from that corporation. And the answers are peculiar, but the most strike, what strikes me, what really got me interested is when you ask uh, to this corporation, to the secretary there, are you human? Then of course, there is no direct answer, yes or no. Uh, from what I heard, they're not allowed to lie. So they cannot tell you they are non-human. Uh, so yes, you can, um, still organize a lot online, but it is getting harder because these uh, AR, they are designed in a way that they're not creative, they're not thinking for you. If it's not there, they are going to write you a simple note, this is not possible, thank you, can I help you otherwise, or so on, uh, simple forms. Then I read it all the time, and every time, if I suspect that this is not a human sitting there, well, not sitting, but maybe being somewhere there in the system, uh, then I know I have to reframe my question so it's understood, so I can find my answers to whatever I want to do, whether it's a publishing or just simply buying a product or changing my settings or changing um, uh, what my membership is about. And uh, for many, uh, it's hard to get out from because they are not deleting your profile. So basically from everyone, for everyone who is using uh, social media and you have a profile and you're not an entrepreneur, you just, um, you just have it for fun to meet your friends and family. We all know that this is gathering information about it, about us and creating our avatar and of let's follow the conspiracy theory about cloning, right? So you have a clone out there in the system ready, just needing your DNA. Uh, but anyway, coming back to reality, um, it's happening, we are living in such world and it's harder and harder to get through with what you want. Basically, we spend more time on online right now, especially in our current times, to organize something, to buy something. And if something goes wrong, we have to do enormous amount of phone calls or emails and spend enormous time online to figure out something that went wrong. You didn't receive that parcel, something got lost, and so on, so on. To all that, your profile <laughs> is monitored. And uh, I recommend also um, this uh, film, Social Dilemma, because there is exactly explained uh, how this is happening, how your profile can be created in a way that is successful and uh, considering these people actually are humans, programmers who are sitting there and they play little gods, I would say, and they can maintain those algorithms changing. I have no idea about algorithms, by the way, but they can manipulate them to the degree that your profile seems to look successful or not. We all know that there is a competition between Facebook, uh, YouTube, and they don't like each other. Anytime I post a video on Facebook from my YouTube, uh, Facebook doesn't like that. So it is not visible. People just don't see it. But if I post something else, then of course, uh, some people respond or like it or whatever. Um, 
for artists, entrepreneurs, anybody who has the business, it is obvious they have to be on social media. But for the rest of the world, if you just use it, um, I, I just suggest we are more cautious about what we put out there. And even though I am an artist and my books are there and my artwork uh, is there, um, some of the thoughts, uh, I do not, I, if I, even if I did it in the past because I don't know about it, I do not participate and I urge you not to do so in all those psychological quizzes uh, because these uh, algorithm these programs they know you better than you know yourself of course so it's easier to manipulate you the way that you won't even know uh, knowing your preferences in everything knowing what you eat knowing what you like how you think you are giving away these informations for doing those quizzes and uh, selfies is the least problem although I constantly see selfies online and um, uh, newborn babies <laughs> uh, and anything else so this is direct access to your soul I would say yeah I would say your soul psyche in a sense of psyche understanding it in a deeper things you would not share with anyone you would like to keep it private because knowing some sort of information about you make you um, easier to be influenced uh, by those administrators who are sitting out there and maybe they do their job maybe they play gods maybe you know it is it depends on their ethics what they are doing and some of them um, as they said in those those film they uh, they let go they stopped working for those corporations seeing seeing exactly what's going on and talking about it uh, so people get more awareness and consciousness about it um, from the other things like with the YouTube many of the youtubers and I heard these stories and with some I have contact uh, a lot of people are losing the, the visibility and this is exactly the same it doesn't up to you if your profile is successful it is really um, just a percentage of your own action uh, we also know, some of us at least, that if you promote something, if you market something, and uh, it's sure you are going to have more success if you're selling uh, something what is needed in everyday household. It is going to be harder for you to sell your artwork, uh, your books, uh, paintings, uh, music, uh, especially these days. Um, but still a big time of that are those algorithms and how you is there someone there out there behind the scene that is allowing you to be visible or not uh, so um, I would like to make sure that we not only know about it but we find the best solutions for us all so we can better navigate through this system because we are living in this uh, world when the when the system is already monitoring every part of our life and even now what's happening right now with all this pandemia or some call pandemia um, more and more people are buying online more and more people giving access to their personal data so it's also visible what you're buying what you're addicted from what products you buy more often uh, so seeing all that someone can exactly decide how to influence you and uh, for this moment of course some of you are refusing and asking me oh I cannot give you a review on Amazon I don't have an account I don't want to go there I don't like it um, I didn't I didn't find a better platform especially for my Polish audience uh, with the Polish language even though Amazon doesn't uh, you cannot publish there in Polish language uh, but at least you can change the site to be visible in the Polish language and there is also something I am not allowed to talk about and please he read here in between lines but Amazon is the one regarding what I am thinking about it and I also have this 
a relationship with Amazon that is very, very difficult. Um, but Amazon is the one that when, when the book is sold there, I at least get something from it. I get it in time. I get it at the end of the month. But some of the platforms, and I cannot say, of course, uh, publicly a lot of things, uh, I never, I, I don't see reports or they are, the, the payment is delayed or in, in for, by some years, for example, or it never, it never is there. So um, I would say that whatever it is now, it doesn't really have a competitor. So if someone monopolizes the world so much, they can do whatever they want, it's obvious and treat the workers as I heard, not so, it is not so kind. And I don't know exactly about that. It's just many of you probably heard those stories. Um, but for me right now, is the best platform I can use in order to publish my books. And sure, I, I look for another uh, platforms. I also look recently at draft to digital and their uh, distributors, how they are doing it. And I see this, these guys are working very hard to maintain the websites and possibility to make it easy access easy way of um, publishing on it and delivering to the, to the, to the audience, to your readers. Um, I hope that there is just better platforms so we can choose and we, they, they indeed can compete one and another in a positive sense. So uh, we are not that much influenced by one of them. Any suggestions you would have, uh, please comment, please write, because um, I totally understand this helplessness feeling uh, within some of us um, when we see how the system works and there's no way, no way around this. Anytime I even spoke with a friend lawyer, uh, there was always this, oh, you cannot do anything. They are just like that. They are very well protected. You just cannot do anything. So what kind of things we are left with if we do not know law even, because we cannot know everything. So that's one thing. I'm not even mentioned about music business where we all know the stories of TLC, Tony Braxton, and how they got, um, yeah, I would, that would be a very bad joke, a financial catharsis, right? They just were broke and uh, they probably didn't know about it. They didn't realize until it was too late. That's, of course, it's a contract. So it also feel, uh, leaves these people helpless, helplessness, in, in a helplessness, because you think you sign on a contract, you are looking forward to it. And uh, I do understand how it feels. Uh, yet, if you do not read it properly, of course, these consequences will be there for another years. And uh, it leaves you in a hopelessness also because you cannot be really angry because you sign it up. So the only person you can really be angry with is yourself. So that is how psychologically it affects more and more people. Um, the same is if you if you create a profile somewhere and you, I bet, you try to get rid of your profile. We'll see if that will be possible to delete your profile permanently from the cloud, from everything, because I already had that problem with one of the website and they had a problem. They didn't want to delete all my data. They could delete my profile, but my data were somewhere there still stored. Can you believe that? So probably you can, I don't know about it. So um, I was one of those people who are naive. So if you are there still thinking um, that is not so serious, um, this is not a wake up call, of course, because you or uh, most of you already know that. But if you are still going back and forth, like, yeah, maybe it's good to do it. Think again, because uh, this is affecting all of us right now. Um, some time ago, when a few years ago, when I was living in The Hague, 
It is a funny thing to say, but I heard that expression from actually musicians. They they finished um, the Hague Conservatorium and they were playing great. And I was in this jazz club um, almost every week and uh, the music was great. And they told me they had to always drink something before they go on stage. Why? I wonder why. Well, the consciousness was not really agreeing with what with what was what was going on with them didn't really agree agreed with them uh so they say well we just you know human we are male prostitutes i say well you are guys artists i say yeah artists are prostitutes or even wars because what prostitute doesn't get paid for her job or uh even pays to the to be able to do that job so that's a little bit stupid joke, but um, they introduced me to that and they say, well, yeah, we are male prostitutes with our instruments. And the man grabbed his violin and rushed to the stage. So I was um, very reflective about that, uh, making my notes that time. And of course, this I, I wrote a few stories like that in my the Oracle series. And I again invite you to to get your copy on Amazon, especially on Amazon, if some of you also are able to get it on Apple, uh, drafted through draft to digital, then I am curious how it works. Is it an easy access to it? Uh, because it's also an information for me. And if you are able to do that, to write that review on Amazon, then you already know about it. The Amazon lift your book for more sales for making it visible. Uh, if you have those reviews, so it's not about even about the sales. Um, I could do the experiment and send my book in PDF format and everybody pays what he wants. Uh, that is another danger somebody told me about, of course. Um, but for any suggestions from your side, um, I would love to hear your suggestions. How can we uh, function, go on, go on, go about, uh, everything what's happening so we can actually make sure that we are not used by the system but we can use the system to our best benefit okay i think this is it for now and let me know what you think and looking forward to hearing from you as always bye bye hello everyone i'm going to give you some important information considering self-publishing and especially today about ISBN numbers. Do I need it? What is it for? Uh, nobody, nobody requires that these days. A lot of people publishing uh, books or just selling books on Amazon without that number and so on. So why would I even bother with that? And do I need it? And if I get it, does it oblige me to do anything or not? So how does it look like? So I'm going to show you some stuff today. And depending on where are you living, what country, where are you located, uh, it will matter for you. But I'm going to uh, make sure that it's a general information and then you check the details in your country. So uh, if you want to uh, be found in a catalog uh, considering your book, this number is absolutely good because uh, valid and good and uh, you can be found all over the world by this number. So you need it. If not, if it's just your hobby, you are uh, selling it yourself, it's a private thing, you don't need it. And even if you are on Amazon, uh, Amazon sells a lot of books that do not require that number. They do not have that number and they do pretty well. So I'm going to show you something first from the uh, website that I recommend to take a little bit deeper look at it, editage.com. The most important one is number eight. So here, as you can see, 43% of ebooks purchased on Amazon do not have it. And 24% uh, of all ebook dollars on Amazon go to books without this number. And U.S. consumers are spending $550 million per year on ebook without this number. So basically, you do not need it. Now, if you do have it, if you buy it, 
or you can also apply. So for example, if you're living in Poland, you can apply for 10 numbers for free. And just because you are a citizen of that particular country, you will get this number for free. So for example, in Poland, how does it look like? I uh, will show you right, right here. Uh, that's a Polish portal when you can get those numbers and you put the books here and then you can deliver, distribute it all over the world. Whatever portal you are publishing your book is a draft of digital Amazon. You can have that number. However, if you do, please check. And this is very important information. If you're not obliged to uh, deliver your print books or ebooks to libraries, all over that country where you're registering. So in Poland, you are obliged to deliver it. And also you can always take it down. You can take it down your book and check, check, and you know how these emails are looking like. So you are corresponding with the particular company and you're asking what is the requirements and they're sending you to another person, another portal. It can take a lot, a lot of time. So if you want to do it, it's absolutely possible. Just consider how much time and effort it will take it from you. The simplest way to not go through all that process is to publish directly. Let's say on Amazon, this is my bookshop. This is how it looks like. Uh, because I cannot publish Polish books there, they are in a draft waiting until the Polish language will be allowed. Uh, however, uh, if you're publishing on Amazon, Amazon gives you right here, follow my mouse, uh, gives you ASIN number. It's automatic, it's uh, free, and it, um, uh, it means Amazon has the right to distribute your books. So be very, very careful about it. You are not allowed to distribute that book with that particular ASIN book. You still have your author rights and you can sell the book, whatever you want to, just not with, with this particular number. Um, considering draft of digital, we have a similar situation here. So here are my, my books. This is how it looks like, draft of digital. And you can have easy steps to publish your books here. And these are the numbers of distributors. You have Amazon here, but if you do uh, publish on Amazon at the same time, make sure that uh, the number, the ISBN number that you have it here uh, is not listed on Amazon and the other way around. So make sure it is organized legally. So later on, you don't have, you don't have any problems. But here you can see how many distributors that portal has. And uh, they were just... Uh, ebook company but now they can print books however only probably in U united states because the the cost of delivering to other countries will be too high but they have a lot of european distributors uh, for those of you who are living in europe in other countries and you are not in america uh, and it's very simple they give you isb a number you can add new book the process is very very easy uh, just like with Amazon, you have um, you you can have your own book cover, or you can have a designer creator uh, direct something very simple from Amazon or from Draft Digital. Um, now, considering the whole um, uh, portals, so this actually is a por Polish one, so we're not going to talk about it. Uh, but the most uh, popular one is Goodreads and Goodreads uh, reaches uh, probably all, all over the world and uh, some people also publish in other languages here. So if you have books in other languages than English, you can also list it here uh, and um, you have total control. So you can put your book, you can add videos here, you can uh, talk to your audience, your readers, uh, you uh, you can do a lot of things here. However, uh, again, um, pay attention to how much time you have uh, and uh, how much energy 
you have to spend on all these uh, marketing and talking and so on. If this is absolutely your passion, then go for it. Uh, however, if you are full time working on you have uh, maybe a health issues or something else, uh, you won't be able to catch up with that. They have also uh, campaigns. They are not expensive, but they will cost you a lot of your time and a lot of your energy to trace it and adjust it. Uh, so again, if you have someone who can help you or do your marketing, this is a very, uh, very good option to be very active here. Maybe other people can do it for you and you can go go to that website every now and then. It's very easy to add your books here and step by step um, you, you can also connect with other social media. As you see, you can put your website here and uh, other social accounts. The readers can state the questions here. You can answer them. Uh, you get um, numbers of reviews here, ratings. Uh, so basically, that is a very good site for authors. And this one I recommend because you have really total control over it. Uh, and you can put your book covers and you have a lot, a lot of possibilities. If this is all you're doing, it can be a full time work. So you have to manage your time when you go, uh, go for it very, very well. And so with other social media. So considering ISBN numbers, I hope I explained why you need it so you can be better found. But if you have a number of readers on your own and you just are interested in selling your own circle, you don't need it. You can have something very simple. So all of these decisions basically depend on you. And to make the good decision, you have to take into account, of course, your um, uh, means, time. I'm talking more about time and energy. I'm not talking about finances because if you're self-publishing, you don't pay anything. If you're using companies, uh, self-publishing companies, be careful about it because they usually do not care about uh, proper edition. There are several types of editing your book. And if you are interested to hearing more, uh, please let me know about it. Because according to the questions you have, just like my Polish uh, audience, I can make sure that I prepare the proper material for you and I can share with you so you won't make all these mistakes that I made and I will save you lots of time because time now is very, very precious as we know. Uh, so this is it for today. That was mostly about this ISBN number, how to publish in a very, very simple way on Amazon Draft to Digital and how you can distribute your eBooks and prints from Amazon with no problems. And if you are a US citizen, you can also have prints right now in Draft of Digital and be on Barnes and Nobles and also have a uh, contact with your readers through good Goodreads and other social media. Um, so if that was helpful, let me know about it. And for the subscribing to my channel, I appreciate very much if you did subscribe because YouTube is a big joker and likes to uh, delete your subscription. So please check it if you subscribed, if you hit that bell notification button and, and uh, click all from, from it. Otherwise, you're not going to hear from me. So if you do want more information, make sure you are going to receive it. Ask me questions and I will do my best to give you some helpful information. So have a lovely day out there. Until the next time.